Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is acrylic painting with me, Julie E. And if this is your first time joining us, welcome. I hope you like and subscribe. It costs you nothing, but it helps me immensely. And what we're doing today is we're going to play with some house paint. I was watching Erica Hughes art and she was doing some pearl cells with, um, the Valspar paint that she uses for her, um, like Shelly art blooms. And basically she was using the same recipes and then she was using, um, along with that, the Australian flow troll and stuff. And it came out really cool. Well, unfortunately, I don't have Valspar. What I do have is called Diamond Hard, and it is by Magic Paints. I don't know. It says it'll stick to any surface and everything, but it is a satin enamel, interior, exterior, acrylic, and it is water-soluble. But, man, when this stuff dries... It's just like there's no getting it off, no matter how hard you scrub. So, um, I've already been kind of experimenting with this stuff with um, regular American Floetrol and everything, and I couldn't get it to work. She just used water to thin her house paint, so that's what I've done. But I've added a little bit of um, GAC 800 from Goldens. So, we've got that house paint, and then... All of these paints here that I'm going to show you are mixed with the Australian Floetrol and pretty much it's, um, well, I used Golden Fluid Acrylics, so it's a squirt to about an ounce, ounce and a half or two. Um, the first color we've got is Iridescent Bronze Fine, and that is this one. And there is no trace at all. Then we have got Golden Burnt Sienna. And again, no trace at all. Also mixed with Australian Floetrol. And then we have Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And yes, Australian Floetrol, no trace. And then we have Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed with Australian Floetrol, approximately one part paint, four parts Australian Floetrol. And that's what we have there. So let's go ahead and start. My paint consistency is still thick. It is thicker than the colors. And it does leave, still leave a mound on a mound. So I don't know if that's too thick or not, but we'll find out, right? Okay, let's get started. I will put on some music. I'm pounding it like that is because I'm trying to get the air bubbles out. I don't want to torch it and risk burning it because it is a house paint. So yeah, I don't want to run the risk of ending up getting a skin across the top of it. I'm just going to tilt that out a little bit. Okay, now let's see. Let's go with our burnt sienna first.
Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, 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 you guys. Oh, wow. Are you guys watching this? Schmoly. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh, I hope it dries okay. I hope it doesn't crack. Everybody, let's pray to the pink gods. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, this is going to still keep cooking and developing and all that fun stuff so um, yeah we're just gonna let it sit and see what happens holy cow and I forgot to record it I forgot to rec hit the record on this one please tell me I've got record going over on my other one. Oh my god oh I do good yay <laughs> oh my gosh I thought I missed the entire thing. Panic attack. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well here are dry results. And yeah, um, I got a lot of texture, so I think I'm gonna have to thin out the white a little bit more, but otherwise it came out great. There's no cracking, separation of any kind and stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna play with this some more. So, until next time, guys, loves and hugs you all. Bye.